The first website I want to talk about is Malware Bazaar. Malware Bazaar is created by BCH, who have created so many other brilliant tools that I use. This tool stands out to me because it's a place where you can find all kinds of new samples. Think of it as somewhat like Virus Total, but without the exorbitant cost. So Malware Bazaar is really based around the database, and we can see it in front of us here. And scrolling down, there's all kinds of SHA-256 hashes, and then signatures for those binaries or files, along with who reported them. So if you engage a lot with the threat intelligence Twitter space, you'll see some of the familiar names here, such as VX underground and so on. Scrolling through these, we can see a lot of famous families that would be great for analysis. And if not, there's also ones that haven't been named here. So you can take one of these binaries, drop it into your VM and find out what it may be, and then come back to this site and mark it as that family. So to illustrate my next website, I'm just gonna grab a random binary and I'm just gonna take this one here because I see that it's just marked as an exe. After that, it's as easy as just downloading the sample. Of course, zip password is always infected. Now that we have a sample, let's move on to our next website. So the next website that I'll be discussing here is Inteza. Inteza does require a sign up and the specific tool that I'm using from their security suite is the Inteza Analyze tool. What this tool will do is look through a binary and look at the code structure using signatures. It'll then attempt to tell you what family of malware it might be, which is really useful to know what family you might be analyzing so that you can look up previously done research on a family, which will aid you in your analysis. To scan a file, I'm just gonna drop a file here that I downloaded from the Bazaar website. The analysis is finished here and we can see a few different strains of malware. We can see LokiBot, generic malware and malicious library. For the binary that I picked out, I imagine that it's probably cryptid. So Intezza is having a harder time analyzing what family it may be. But with unpacked binaries, it'll have a lot easier of a time analyzing them and will give you some good information on these binaries. It'll also give you information such as strings and code that it has detected within the binary. So looking at the genetic summary it gives me here, if I had a binary that had a significantly larger percentage of what family it may be, I would take the name such as Loki and put it into the next website I'm going to show. Next site I want to show off is Malpedia. Malpedia on this list is probably one of the top two websites that I use most often. What Malpedia does is it aggregates a bunch of different research platforms and individuals blogs to get new research on malware and then it'll categorize them and this is done every day so usually when i start work or i start my day i will check in with this site and scroll through some of the recently added research and if it's anything that i find interesting uh, i'll go ahead and read through it this keeps me updated on new malware relating to the previous binary where we saw that it may have the malware family of Loki. I'm going to put Loki into this site. Inteza, I believe, marks Loki as Loki bot. So I will click on Loki password stealer. And here we can scroll down. It already gives us a bit of information about the malware family. And scrolling down, we have all kinds of information on the Loki bot malware family, which can be used to aid you in your analysis of a newer sample. Next on the list is Triage. Triage is my number one most loved site. I have used so many sandboxes in the past and they never really do exactly what I want them to do. Their execution or signatures are out of date or simply don't work. Triage has always been up to date fully functional and adding new features constantly. It was just acquired by Recorded Future and it remains to be seen how Recorded Future will treat the company and how it will change going forward. But I hope that nothing too drastic changes on this site because it has been such a massive use to me. Now, to use the sandbox, it's as easy as just browsing, dropping in a sample and then just submitting it. 
you'll be brought to this page where you can set some of the settings but usually I'll just leave it on automatic with internet access and from time to time I'll usually give five or ten minutes just so that if there are any sleep functions in the malware it'll get past those and click analyze now that our destination of the sample is complete we can see that the sample is actually smoke loader so going through some of the report here we can see some of the processes that it creates and a few other detections here in the signatures such as smoke loader packer and enumerating processes and other uses of some functions from the windows library what's nice about triage is that you have two destinations of windows 7 and windows 10 which are both concurrent so if windows 7 doesn't give you a lot of information you can just go to a different destination of it in the windows 10 sandbox and you'll get even more information we saw some of this before in the windows 7 sandbox but looking at the networking we can see that there are different dns requests to c2s and here we can actually find the c2 url but what if you want to go and analyze this smoke loader binary in your own vm well you can see here that triage has detected the smoke a smoke loader packer so in our next website i'll show you how to deal with that before you go into your vm and analyze the binary the last site on the list is unpack me unpack me is a brilliant site created by the guys over at open analysis and what it'll do is automatically attempt to unpack your binary there is absolutely nothing better in a tool when looking at fresh samples so i'm going to go ahead here and drop the smoke loader binary that we just looked at and see if it can successfully unpack it and now that our unpacking is done you can see that it has looked at the parent and then got an unpacked child here and some of the signatures already within unpack me are detecting it as smoke loader stage 2 and malpedia as well is detecting it as smoke loader this is a perfect representation of what unpack me can do and they have also added some new functionalities of being able to do malware configuration extractors so this will also hugely help you with your analysis of malware well that concludes this week's video i hope you enjoyed the video i tried to structure it as if you're starting from finding a binary on bazaar and then going through each of these sites in chronological order to get more and more information on your binary until after you finally got an unpacked binary from unpack me you'll then bring that into your vm usually this is the work through that i will use in my own analysis and i find that it works really well thank you so much for watching goodbye